Hi, I'm Beryl, and today, rather than cooking, I'm ordering delivery. I need a break. <laughs> but there is a twist. I'm having my subscribers choose off of the menu what I am going to eat. The theme today, Indian food. The video today is made in partnership with Grubhub, a restaurant delivery service, and I'm excited for this because more often than not, when we order delivery, we tend to get the same things again and again. And if we wanna try something new, looking at a menu can sometimes be like, ugh, like I don't even know where to start. So that's the concept for this episode today. Meher, Samya, Shruti, and Maura have all gone through the menu at Daba and they are gonna choose what I'm going to eat and try today and talk to us a little bit about the dishes they chose. Grubhub did also give me a coupon code, so if you use my name, Barrel at checkout, you can get $5 off your order of $15 or more at any restaurant. And I'm excited for this because honestly, there is a lot more than chicken tikka masala, sag paneer, and garlic naan. <laughs> Food is here, I'm going to unpack it and replate it so that we can get a better look at everything. My name is Salma, I'm from Mumbai, India. So the next thing I'm choosing for you is an onion pakora. It's slices of onions fried in batter. You have it with a mint chutney or a garlic chutney or a tamarind chutney. It's very special to Indians because um, in India we do have a monsoon season where we have rains for four months straight from June to October. So during that time, Indians do have a lot of onion pakoras. It, it hits home. I've definitely had these before, but I love the story that this is something that you have during monsoon season. Not that we really have that in New York, but it's nice nonetheless. <laughs> This is in a chickpea flour batter, and inside that batter there are tons of beautiful spices, and when you combine it with the chutney, I mean, yeah. Even if it's not raining, I want this. And as an aside, my mother-in-law also makes these for us when it is monsoon in India. So it's like, it's funny how it's just like a thing that everybody does. I'm Shruti Paneetha. Hello, my name is Mavra. I'd like you to order kurkuri bindi. Kurkuri means crispy and bhindi basically means okra in Hindi. A lot of people hate okra because of its slimy texture, but deep fry anything and it'll taste really, really good. And it has some dried spices on top with lemon and cilantro. It's a must try. This is one of my niece's favorite things to have. So we end up ordering this quite often when we are out. Let me know whether you like it or not, Beryl. This is funny because Rajat made this once for me when he was kind of like still trying to impress me. And he did an okay job, but I've never ordered this from a restaurant. Mm. Very crunchy. I don't think that these taste so much like okra, but it's kind of just, if you want something crunchy to snack on, it's just very crunchy. Let's go. Hi everyone, my name is Meher. Um, I immigrated to America with my family from India when I was four, and now I'm in Australia to do my PhD. I've chosen Lusuni Gobi. Lusuni Gobi is delicious, and I used to have it all the time when I was little. It's like these crunchy cauliflower bites in this tangy chili sauce, and it's just so, so good. This is actually one of my favorite dishes. It's a part of what's called Indo-Chinese cuisine, which is India's interpretation of Chinese food. You might also see it on a menu as Manchurian gobi. So if you don't see Lasuni gobi, but you wanna try this, look for Manchurian gobi. It is bright red because of the chili and it's sweet and spicy. And my favorite part is honestly the bell pepper and onion in this. I mean, it's honestly one of the greatest things ever. The cauliflower is deep fried too. One of my favorite things about Indo-Chinese food is that you find all of these traditional Indian dishes with this kind of sweet, spicy version of them. So you can get chili paneer as well, which is very, very good. Chili chicken, chow mein. All these things are fun to look for. <laughs> I'm choosing Mumbai Batata Vada for you, also known as Vada Pao. Pao is actually a bread with Portuguese um, brought to India. 
you usually have mana pounds with tamarind chutney, a coriander chutney, and a garlic chutney. Or sometimes you can just have it with a green chili combined. Parata vada is a staple for Mumbaikers. It's what hot dog is for New Yorkers. Same way we have vada pav for Mumbaikers. This is a big one. This is a big boy. This is like America's vada pav. It's like a big size sandwich here. If you like potatoes and you like bread, have I got the sandwich for you. You know, this is spiced mashed potatoes, deep fried. There's a spicy chutney on here, which is really, really good. So it's got like a big kick of heat. And then the bread is soft and buttery. So your hands become a little bit shiny. Mm. Obviously this is better when it's made fresh, but honestly, I'm surprised at how well it's held up en route because it's still, it's still hitting, you know? I'd like you to try a female pao. Pao with anything is something that you would easily find in Bombay, whether it's pao bhaji, whether it's vada pao. Pima is basically minced meat mixed with spices, but it's eaten with a pao. So it's easier to consume on the go. You get the best keema pows in Irani cafes in Bombay. So when I was teaching in Bombay, I would head to the Irani cafe, grab my keema pow, have some Irani chai, and then have some caramel custard. But today, it's just keema pow for you. Yum, keema pow, it's kind of like a sloppy joe, right? <laughs> the minced lamb smells very delicious. Like you can smell the cumin. I love cumin. Mm. It was good. Kima pao is one of those dishes that every time Raj and I go out to eat and he sees it on a menu, he's like, well, we're definitely gonna get the kima pao. It's a spiced dish versus a spicy dish. So if you don't like too much spice, this is really good. This was appetizers. Let's try some of the entrees. The next thing is a chari chicken. Achar is pickle in Hindi. The pickles in India are nothing like the pickles here in the United States. They have so many spices. So this chicken is basically inspired from the pickles that we have in India. It is a bit sour and a bit tangy, but it tastes good. Okay, we are at the entree portion. And these are dishes that I actually have never had before. So I'm pretty excited. I've never even heard of this dish before and it just, you can smell the pickle and Indian pickle is one of these amazing things that is so specific to India, but I, I've just never thought about cooking with it. So I'm very, I'm very excited. Well, this is one of my new favorite dishes. Whoa. I have never had anything like this before. It doesn't taste like any other type of like masala base that I've ever had. This is cooked with chicken thighs, so the chicken is very tender and moist. Wow. It's like a little bit sour, a little bit spicy, but it's just packed full of really good flavor. Well, I've chosen malai kofta, and malai kofta is actually a really meaningful dish because it's my grandpa's favorite curry, and it's just so warming and creamy, and it fills the soul. It's delicious, and that's why I've chosen it. Malai kofta is interesting. Malai means creamy, and kofta are the balls, which actually you might know the word from Middle Eastern cuisine. The kofta balls are made out of potato and paneer, so if you're somebody who likes paneer, like as in sog paneer, malai kofta might be the dish for you. A lot of the creaminess comes from pureeing cashews into the sauce, which I think is actually pretty cool. This is a really rich, creamy dish. It's not like a light, like, oh, I'll just like have a little and like, you know, go for a jog after. Like, you're gonna eat this and then take a little nappy nap afterwards. <laughs> the sauce also tastes kind of sweet almost. So I would say this is a more like sweet forward dish than spicy forward dish. The kofta is cool though. It's like, whoa, hello. I'm enjoying it. For the bread, I'd like you to have romali roti. Naans get all the credit, but romali roti is the underdog really. It's really big and it's foldable and it's really thin, but it tastes amazing. I did have to heat it up a little, so she got a little extra toasty. <laughs> Garlic naan is great and all, but like this romali roti seems like pretty cool. 
I heard that in India, good rumali roti um, is even bigger, that this is puny. So naan is super thick, right? And you eat it and you're just like, oh my God, like I have so much naan in my stomach, I'm so full. I feel like the rumali roti is so much more of a vessel and that it's so much thinner, so it's not gonna fill you up as quickly and you really get more flavor of the food that you're eating and it's not just about the bread. The naan is the main show. I feel like rumali roti is like a supporting actor, you know? It's good. I like this more than I like naan. I'm really full, but we're gonna do dessert. We're gonna do dessert. For dessert, I'd like you to try Ras Malai, my personal favorite. Ras Malai is just a milk-based dessert. I used to hate milk as a kid, but Ras Malai still used to be my favorite. I mean, yum. Even though I'm super full, there is usually room for a little dessert. I feel like one of the more common Indian desserts that you see at least here in America is gulab jamun, which is great but Ras Malai is really where it's at. Did my eyes just widen? If you remember, who was paying attention when we did the entree of Malai Kofta? You'll hear the word Malai again. This is creamy. And there's kind of like a soft cheese. These little squares are like soft cheese balls. That sounds weird, it, it's better than that. And there's cardamom flavor in this and there are sliced almonds in this. You eat it cold or room temperature and I don't know, it makes me feel things. If you're getting delivery and you want a dessert, it's really good because you don't have to reheat it, which is a nice thing. Mm, I just really love this one. I'm gonna leave my entire order in the description, so if you feel inspired to try yourself, it's all right there. Grubhub did also give me a coupon code, so if you use my name, Barrel at checkout, you can get $5 off your order of $15 or more at any restaurant, but you should definitely do Indian food for this one, and tell us all how it is. I do wanna try this episode again, so leave a comment for the type of cuisine you would like to see me try next, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.